there have been several times where players that look like scrubs due to age or injury have decided to change sides in order to prove their worth and wind up thriving and taking their teams the distance. Also, some well-established stars wind up leaving their respective teams in order to have a chance to compete, even regardless of what people may think about that decision. Today, we'll let you know about the top 10 most interesting free agency signings in NBA history. Some of these players might be shocking, so if you want to know, then watch this video till the end. Coming in at number 8, we have David West to the Indiana Pacers in 2011. David West is not only one of the top free agent signings of the last decade, but he may also be the most underrated. He came from New Orleans as a 31-year-old who was past his prime and whose best years were boosted by the facilitating of Chris Paul. But West launched a second career in Indianapolis, becoming a valuable piece and a leader on a surprisingly successful team. During the four years he played with the Pacers, 2011 to 2012 and 2014 to 15, he averaged 14.0 points and 7.0 rebounds, but the box score numbers don't sufficiently describe his impact. His leadership was one of the reasons the Pacers had the third best record and second most playoff wins in the Eastern Conference while he was there. Both on and off the court, West proved a massive signing for the Pacers. At number 7, we have Steve Nash with the Phoenix Suns in 2004. Nash played 10 seasons for Phoenix, during which he racked up accolades and was the engine behind any serious success the Suns had in the 2000s. Nash has dished out over 10,000 career assists, won the NBA MVP award twice, and was the foundation for Phoenix's prolific run-and-gun offense that lit up most of the league in the late 2000s. When the Suns reached the conference finals in 2010, Nash had started all 81 regular season games. His toughness was never a question. Nash's reputation as a winner was always hampered by the presence of the Los Angeles Lakers, and he ended up joining the ranks of his nemesis after all. Even though he now gets exposed on defense by more athletic guards and can't seem to permanently keep away the injury bug, Nash is one of the greatest point guards ever. The Phoenix Suns were lucky to be able to re-sign him in 2004. At number 6, we have Shaquille O'Neal to LA in 1996. Shaq was a big star on the rise and the Orlando Magic lowballed him when it came to re-signing him. By signing the 7'1 center to a mammoth 7-year deal in 1996, Lakers general manager Jerry West had another dynasty set in his eyes for the historic franchise. Although the championships didn't come immediately, when the Lakers did break through the West, Shaq and a young Kobe Bryant capitalized. The duo led the Lakers to four finals appearances in five years. Among the Hall of Famer's many accomplishments, Shaq won three championships during his eight-season tenure in Los Angeles, garnering finals MVP all three times. At number five, we have Michael Jordan with the Washington Wizards in 2001. Michael Jordan had already surprised everybody when he decided to retire early following his first three-peat just to shock the world again with his comeback en route to three more championships as the leader of the most iconic team in NBA history. Well, if it wasn't enough, he surprised the basketball world again by making a second comeback following a three-year hiatus, this time as a member of the Washington Wizards. Moreover, he was still capable of completely torching opposing defenders despite having lost most of his speed. At number four, we have LeBron James to the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2014. After four successful seasons in Miami, where he and the Heat won two championships, LeBron James returned home to sign with the Cleveland Cavaliers in the offseason of 2014. Playing alongside Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving 2014-17, James and the Cavaliers advanced to the finals in each of the four years after his return. More importantly, in his second stint with the franchise, LeBron delivered on the promise of bringing a championship to the state of Ohio, doing so in historic fashion by leading the Cavaliers to the only 3-1 comeback in finals history. Coming in at number 3, we have Kevin Durant to the Golden State Warriors in 2016. Kevin Durant joining the Warriors is the second most significant signing of the last decade. He won two straight finals MVPs while helping the Dubs to back-to-back -to -back titles. His 24.7 career game score in the finals is the highest since 1983, which is as far back as the stat can be tracked. He missed the first four games of this year's finals with a calf strain, and he lasted only 12 minutes in Game 5 before he ruptured his Achilles. 
Regardless of whether he returns to the Warriors, he's one of the three players in history to win multiple finals MVPs after signing with the team as a free agent, joining James and Shaquille O'Neal. Honorable Mention Giannis Antetokounmpo, soon to be two-time NBA MVP and leader of number one overall seed two postseasons in a row, now has only a single season remaining on his contract. When free agency begins, the Bucks will offer him a five-year Supermax contract extension and in all likelihood, he will decline. Barring a major surprise, one of the best players in the NBA is going to enter unrestricted free agency in the summer of 2021 at the age of 26. Naturally, everybody is going to want him. Just how all 30 NBA teams reached out to LeBron James when he was a free agent in 2014, even those that knew they had no chance at signing him. This is standard operating procedure when MVP caliber players reach free agency, and that is a class Antetokounmpo belongs to. He will be able to play virtually anywhere he wants. At the second place on our list, we have Anthony Davis and LeBron James to the Lakers. LeBron James is officially a member of the Los Angeles Lakers. With the contract part out of the way, James can now focus on leading Los Angeles back to the playoffs for the first time since the 2012-13 campaign, something he figures to do considering he has played in the last eight NBA Finals as a member of the Miami Heat and Cleveland Cavaliers. Davis reportedly wanted to wind up with the Lakers ever since word leaked of his desire to leave New Orleans, the team that drafted him number one overall in 2012. The six-time All-Star shares the same agent as LeBron James, who joined the Lakers free agency in 2018. Neither Anthony Davis nor LeBron James have played with a player that is capable of being better than them on any given night, and that is why this pairing is so intriguing. The best player Davis played alongside was Cousins, and he is a big man, rather than a player that can help him create shots like LeBron can. These two did great, and helped the team win the championship this 2020 season. And finally, for our top spot on the list, coming in at number 1, we have LeBron James to the Miami Heat in 2010. Before James signed with the Miami Heat in 2010, only 4 free agent acquisitions had won a total of 6 finals MVP with 3 of those awards going to Shaquille O'Neal. The other 6 have come since James won his first finals MVP in 2012. In other words, James changed the nature of team building when he went to Miami. He made it acceptable for players in their prime to consider proximity to title contention when determining where to play. When James teamed up with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh to form the Heatles, it was an unprecedented case of players acting in coordination to build a championship franchise. With the Heat, James won two MVPs, two finals MVPs, and led the Heat to the NBA Finals every year. His impact on the team warrants his placement as number one on here, but his impact on the history of the game is not limited to what he did on the court. As such, James's arrival in Miami is the most significant free agent acquisition in NBA history. Make sure to keep posted with our videos to keep yourselves updated with your favorite star's whereabouts. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more.